The Mfuleni municipality says it is investigating the matter. Right, well, Sadek region uh, presidential candidate for a Pan-African parliament, uh, Fortune Jarumbira, has uh, been elected the new president of the Legislative Assembly. Jarumbira was elected unopposed as uh, Malawian candidate Jeremia Chihana's uh, nomination was cancelled because it was not following the AU's uh, protocol. Jarumbira has appealed to African leaders to use resources at their disposal to deal with the myriad of challenges uh, the continent is facing. He says Africa has uh, the potential to generate its wealth without depending on uh, other continents. Let's get more on this then when I join via Zoom by political analyst uh, Riboni Dao to weigh in on the Pan-African Parliament election results. So very good afternoon to you, Riboni. Great to see you again. Good afternoon, uh, Flora, and good afternoon to the viewers at home. Thank you for having me. You're most welcome. Well, Zimbabwe then uh, taking uh, the helm of uh, leadership at the Pan-African uh, Parliament. Uh, your thoughts, um, you know, on what this uh, means certainly for uh, the country of uh, Zimbabwe and, and, and the region, the Sanic region? I think going back to, you know, last year when we saw what happened at the Pan-African Parliament because there was... Uh, issues around the rotation, you know, that um, SADC needs to, you know, uh, get the opportunity also to be at the helm of the Pan-African Parliament. Mm. So this is actually a good victory for SADC, but also yes, um, um, and, and yes, obviously, um, he's a candidate from Zimbabwe. But one of the things when I've been also engaging with some of the Zimbabweans, one of the things that they raise about him, that he's a very hands-on man. Yeah. So one hopes that during his tenure, he will really uh, change certain things around the legislature with within uh, different parliaments in terms of making sure that there's also implementation by different uh, um, um, parliaments within the African continent, you know, and but also we know that Zimbabwe is also going to the elections next year. We're hoping that um, there might not be any technicality in terms of his tenure not being affected by the um, elections in Zim, because also he's the president of the, the chieftaincy um, constituency in Zimbabwe. He doesn't have a constituency like other MPs. He's the president of the of the chiefs in zim yeah and i mean what changes are we to look forward to then i mean when when, when i introduced uh, the topic uh, I mean, and you look at uh, africa i did say that you know there's a myriad of uh, challenges that that face the continent and uh, one would have to ask the question of of you know where exactly to start and if we look at zimbabwe also having very many challenges of its own to to the point where we have in south africa very many uh, zimbabwean nationals who one could say are fleeing uh, the problems in zimbabwe uh, I mean, one of the things that he speaks about is the issue of, of, of corruption, you know, and we know that is a big challenge in the continent, you know, and hoping that he can be the champion, you know, to fight corruption within the continent, because I mean, Africa has got so many resources, but look at the people, you know, um, for example, the people of Zimbabwe are here because of the economic also challenges, you know, in their country, besides the political challenge in, in, in Zimbabwe. So one hopes that uh, corruption will be at the center of his tenure as the president.